It's me, Nicole, and it's the fourth day of VEDA, vlog every day in April. Uh, yesterday's video was short, and this one isn't, so go get some water to sip on to pass the time. Um, I'm going to answer the many fast tag questions posed by super vlogger Fit and Fab by 40. Um, I've copied the questions below down in the uh, information so you can play along too if you haven't been tagged already. Uh, so here we go. Uh, the first question, um, what was the moment that sealed the deal for you, the moment you decided to try Medifast? Well, um, apart from feeling miserable because of my constant overeating, uh, I have to say that it was really when I started watching all of you know, everybody's many fast videos and reading all the blogs and bookmarking all the recipes people came up with. Um, you know, I realized that this was something that was really doable, that people enjoyed doing or, you know, seemed to enjoy talking about at least. Um, that it could almost be like a hobby for me, you know, the habits of keeping up with all things many fast might actually be a good substitute for you know, my poor habits associated with eating. So I figured it was something I could dork out over and have fun with and, you know, actually maybe that might work for me. So that's what I did. Okay, uh, question two. Do you have a coach through Take Shape for Life or are you flying solo? Uh, I have a coach. Uh, I wasn't sure if I really wanted one when I started, but I decided that it would be really helpful in the end, um, especially because I'm not telling people um, other than those people that I live with that I'm trying to lose weight. Um, I'll do another beta video on my reasons <laughs> for that. Um, so I thought it would be nice to have one, someone outside of my real life to support me and to talk about it, uh, and it is. It's great. I really, I really like it. Uh, I really like my coach. Uh, okay, question three. What is one Medifast product you would order even if you were no longer on plan? Uh, well, the brownies will save my life one day when I'm desperate for a chocolate muffin at 11 p.m. Really. Um, they're great, you know, and it's like just enough to satisfy that sweet, cakey, deliciousness craving. So that's good. Also, any of the crunch bars, really. I mean, why would I eat like a regular granola bar when I could have one that will make me not hungry for four hours? You know, I like them. Yeah. Uh, do I hate any many fast foods? Which ones? Um, I hate the orange blend drink. It, ugh, it's so disgusting to me. Um, and it was one of the first things I tried too, so it nearly ruined my Medifast life. It was, I was afraid when I drank it. That, that was what my life was going to be like, just drinking orange blend. Um, I don't know, it's just so fake tasting, even though I like fake orange flavored things usually. I don't know, it's just so much like medicine that I just get the shivers when I'm trying to like slam one because I need to get rid of them. I don't know. And the chunks, ugh. So no matter if I use a blender or the shaker jar, whatever, it's just horrific. The chunks are terrible. I'm also not a fan of the chili nacho cheese puffs, which was kind of disappointing. I thought they were going to be great. To me, they taste like just cumin slash body odor. I don't know. Uh, cumin isn't specifically listed on the package, but I'm convinced it's mixed in there, like under spice or whatever generic term they use. I don't like them. Anyway. Uh, number five, what is your go-to lean and green meal? Mahi-mahi and roasted cauliflower. Um, I started out eating a whole hell of a lot of tilapia, which got old really fast. Um, I like tilapia, but there's only so much. The mahi-mahi is still on the leanest side of the, um, of the lean portion of your meal, but I just, I like the texture of it. it. You know, it feels meaty and satisfying. It has kind of a little bit of its own flavor, but it's not fishy. Um, I really like mahi-mahi, uh, and also roasted cauliflower. I usually will have them together. Sometimes 
uh, broccoli, but roasted cauliflower is like, it's like eating cauliflower french fries. It's delicious. If you haven't tried it, have it. Uh, what do you usually order when you go out to eat? Usually a fish, a grilled or broiled fish with some kind of vegetable, steamed, um, or sautéed sometimes. They use a lot of oil. You know, I try to go with steamed. Uh, or if it's like a really divey place that has like a lot of fried foods, um, usually they'll have like some kind of cob salad or something. Um, and I just subtract ingredients, uh, from my order until it's basically just salad greens with like crumbled egg on top. So that's a good one. Uh, let's see what's next. Um, what is your favorite exercise? Zumba. It's so much fun. Um, and this is from a person who has never, ever enjoyed any kind of exercise, really. Uh, I didn't even like, like, yoga month in gym class. That, like, the, the most non-movingest exercise, I don't even like it. Um, I guess, I guess what I really don't like is when it's exercise, like, just for the purpose, or, like, mostly for the purpose of fitness, where it's, like, not fitness and also it's this. Um, like running on a treadmill or weightlifting, things like that, I'm not at all into. Uh, I prefer exercise where fitness is like one of the good things about it. Um, you know, like playing a sport or dancing or like biking or something like that. Um, and most aerobic type dance classes, you know, I've tried for me have kind of aired too much on the side of just for fitness. You know, I just, I don't know, the dance moves were, like, lame or whatever. Um, but Zumba, to me, really feels like fun, like a dance party. Like, better than a dance party because there's someone telling you how to dance so that you don't look like an idiot. Um, yeah, you should try it. And if you've tried it before and you didn't like it, see if maybe you can find, like, a different atmosphere type class. Um, make sure they have a good sound system because it makes it way more like a party. And also, if you're not into the whole gym environment, there are a lot of classes in like really non-traditional spaces. My class is in like a big giant like school, um, like a school auditorium kind of thing. And so the teacher's up on a stage, so it's like a show. They have a great sound system. There's no mirrors, no walls and wall mirrors. There's no communal changing rooms like a gym. So if you have tried Zumba before and you didn't like it, try it again somewhere else. See if you can get like a really fun, big, like dance party type class. It's awesome, I love it. Uh, okay, moving on, number eight. How has MediFast changed you? Uh, well, apart from the physical aspects, which is slowly changing, um, I guess before I started Manifest, I think I, like, I derived this, like, powerful feeling from doing, you know, eating whatever I wanted. Because I was like, you know, yeah, I'll have that chocolate muffin because I can and I don't care what I eat. Because I enjoy it. I don't give a fuck. Like, ha! But, obviously, that was really self-destructive. Self-empowerment, almost, you know? Um, and now, it's more like this serene, you know, graceful, benevolent type of power. Where I think, why, yes, I could have that, but I won't. Because that's just not what I'm doing right now. You know, that kind of thing. So, so yeah, it's, I still feel powerful. I still feel really self-empowered. But not because I'm trying to show someone up. Like, uh, look how much I don't care. I'm going to do what I want. No, it's like, look how much I care about myself. That's why I'm making this choice right now. Which is uh, very exciting. It's, it's much better much less self-destructive. Uh, number nine, do you have a many fast pet, uh, pet peeve? And what is it? Um, I hate that the soups are so much less enjoyable if they haven't been soaking overnight. I really like the soups. I really like the um, chicken noodle and the chicken and rice one, whatever it's called. Um, but they suck if you don't. For me, they suck if you don't... Um, if you don't soak them. I like to soak them overnight. I don't even really like it if it's like an hour. 
I like a good overnight soak. Um, you know, and sometimes I really want one, but I just like don't want to wait six hours for non-crunchy noodles. So I would say that's a pet peeve. Uh, and the last one, if you could ask Manifest Corporate to create their version of your favorite food, what would it be? I really want some kind of like salty, crunchy snack, like chips or real pretzels. Um, that is what I crave most, especially at night. Um, and if something ever makes me fall off the wagon, which I hope it doesn't, it's going to be something like that. Um, not like cake or anything. I just, God, I just love a bag of potato chips. Um, you know, I like the many fast puffs and bites just fine. Like, you know, they are sort of salty, crunchy adjacent, uh, but they also like, they have a flavor too. So it's not just like salty snacky type thing, but it's also like Parmesan flavor, which is good, but sometimes I don't want that. Um, sometimes I just want like salt flavor. <laughs> Like, why do the pretzels have to be cinnamon or mustard flavored? Like, I like them, but like, you know, many fast. Can a girl get a pretzel flavored pretzel, please? Uh, yeah, so that's what I really want. Uh, that would be delicious. Thanks. Get on those many fast potato chips, many fast, please. So, uh, that's it. Those are my questions. It actually didn't take that long. I hope I didn't talk too fast. Um, but thanks for joining me for this one. As always, check out my blog, uh, fatnomornicole.tumblr.com, also linked down below in the information. And you should do the questions too, if you haven't already. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.